<laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that was a problem. Okay, so I'm playing this game today. I know it's Black History Month. Um, but yeah. We gotta <laughs> I'll read y'all the description for this game. Hold on, give me one second. I gotta pull it up. Listen to Beyonce before I got in here. <laughs> so I am well aware that it is Black History Month. Um, before I read, <laughs> um, the council begins in seventeen ninety. Hey, Riddy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting hot. <laughs> the ancestors are telling me this is a bad idea. Anyways, we're gonna play it anyway. Um, I'm sure it's not gonna go with that. I hope not, because if it does, I'm literally gonna turn it off. <laughs> okay. The council begins in 17. Three with players taking the role of secret society member Louis de that's a name R I C H E T I don't know how to say that enters invitation to a private island off the shores of England by the enigmatic Lord Mortimer. Joining him are a number of high profile guests, including eh, including Napoleon and. Uh, Uh, and president of the newly formed United States of America, George Washington. The strange nature of this private reception goes beyond just the prestigious, prestigious guests. Wow, I can't read. Uh, Louise's own mother has recently gone missing on the island. I don't like how they worded this last part. While each and every one of the colorful cast seems to have their own hidden agenda. Is. Colorful as in personality. Alright, I guess that's what it is. So we're gonna play this day. And we're gonna see how it goes. Um <laughs> Yes, I said Yeah. I kinda just downloaded it and I was like, you know what? We're gonna try and play this, and if I don't like it, then I'm just gonna get rid of it. I'm never gonna play it again. <laughs> I got the uh, free first episode, so we're just doing that. Um, I guess we shall start. Go see George freaking Washington, I guess. <laughs> I'm getting hot. I'm getting hot. I'm getting hot. <laughs> Ooh, Paris. December 10th, 17, I mean, 1792. Mm. I don't even go that far back You're with my not brain. not getting anywhere with this Von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. I mean, I didn't mind that. Listen. <laughs> Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. You turn on a fan or something. I'm you. getting hot. 
nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair of my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, <laughs> I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen What's something that? from me that I intend to get back. That. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. See? Poking around in business that ain't got nothing to do with it. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. <laughs> Sorry, it's Stop just... annoying our host, Louis. Never mind. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will okay. be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. Ew. You'll see. Loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational mm. and open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Bob Orchard. Mm. Bob Orchard. Mm. Listen. Let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. That was a dumb idea. Pity you're not in any mm. position to do so. For the last yeah, time. Yeah, he's not in a position to negotiate. Where um. is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. What, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? We trust in our mother? Are we gone? Or are we just gonna do us? Oh no! Oh no! I'm a rebel. But fine, we'll trust the mother. Cause mother knows best. Like Please entangled. Yeah. Be my guest, mother. Mm. Ah. Ooh, Mama got a blick. Oh my gosh! Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, Mother? <laughs> He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. We probably would have killed him the way she man. said he's alive. Mm -hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Nah. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, oh. you're no spring chicken anymore. Come on, let's go. I don't on. even know what that means. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borsch. Does that mean... Never mind. I'm not even about to sit here and try and figure it out. It is what it is. Uh, a whole month. Oh, I figured that's what he was saying. So mean. Why would you say that to your mom? <laughs> like, rude. Oh my gosh! Look, guys, it's Hogwarts. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't just say every castle on a random rocky island is the Hogwarts. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was funny. Well done, Ooh, nice water sounds. I you like just that. had to pick up Von Bertrand's trail on your own, didn't you? 
You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer. And now was that a black man rowing the boat? You've gone missing on his private island, which, mm. by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. This Black History Month. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It do y'all think she's gonna be pretty? Mm. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again. Possibly. Slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this. <laughs> I was about to say she looks like a harlot. <laughs> That's not... No. That's not what I was... Well now, Duchess. That doesn't seem historically accurate. Well, how me. very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Holm, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. There's a lot of cleavage good, for sir. 1792. What are we going to say? We're going to say that, or we're going to say it's a personal reason, like our mother being missing on this island. Lord uh, Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Yeah. Oh, what are you going to do with it? mysterious. Do? You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came <laughs> here to look for your mother, your eminence. <laughs> the anyway, Vatican. Consider yourself fortunate, young man. No, we at Hogwarts. who dream of simply one day setting foot on this <laughs> island. And only a very few ever make it. <laughs> I'm Tonight, sorry. No. I imagine Not this Hogwarts. must be your We're first at Lord Mortimer's here. castle. On the rocks. Uh... That's right. Until now, I've never been invited by Lord Mortimer. You, you won't soon forget it. Given what I've seen so far, I wish I'd been passed over. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richard. That is, I, I just like can't get us. over how much cleavage coming, that is for 1792. Coming, that is a lot. Duchess, you got your whole back out. This prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. That's why I said it, it's giving harlot. <laughs> Are you right? Um, there is a flash warning. Um, I didn't know that was about to happen just then, but there is a flash warning. So. Um, I made it a command as well. Yeah. Mother? What the freak? Oh shit! Your hand. What? So, okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes, I made sure no one Why was following me. So Don't much? worry, Sarah. No one's going to find it. Where her hand go? <laughs> Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Hey, she ain't wash her face. Alone? Just one thing left to do. Mm. No, mother. No, 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 no. What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. Um, no, sir. She better hope ain't no blues in there. No. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah, but you will pay me. <sighs> oh, we just had a, 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 a premonition. We's you Raven Baxter. Louis, are you right? What's going on? We can seize the future. Here, take this. But I'm being so for real. I'm sorry. Keep it. It is giving Harley. That is a lot. I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm I can't get over it. For 1792. It's getting late. Why don't Why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm he just thought this one was death. I'm sure, yes. 
Fine. I definitely right. have to mother quickly. <laughs> Am I going he crazy is like or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? Oh, her name's After Emily. You find you, mother. Yeah. Wait, was there anything for me to touch? No, nah, I don't think there was anything for me to touch. I hope not. One wrong move away from seeing a whole Emily, during the trip, I a whole I wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Oh. Occultus. Okay, we can be a diplomat, occultist, or a detective. Shines in society. A talented speaker avoids faux pas and he can convince those with whom he is talking of, but without offending them. Politics is the field. Uh, I don't know how to say that. Last word. <laughs> Occultist is a master of perception. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Uh, the detective excels in investigation. So. Question, vigilance, psychology, agility, and logic. Diversion. Hmm. So it says that, like, um, the other skills will be available, but they'll be expensive. So we're going to have to buy. All right, um, I'm gonna go with detective because we're trying to find our mama. Ooh. Wait. Oh. Huh. Well, that was random. Over the last right. few years, I've solved a number of crime cases, like mm -hmm. the chauffeur d'Anger, for example. Thieves that torture their victims with burning embers. Hmm, charming. Oh. How did you catch okay. them? I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names that of his That is a lot of back. <laughs> Couldn't <laughs> shut him up. I heard about I can't case. stop! I didn't know you were the one who solved it. I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, mm, first I was actually base. helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her Miss by any Yiddy. chance. Wait, Louis, we've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Right? What? Uh, should we lie and say that we remember her? Or be honest? How do you forget a woman like that? How? I'm gonna just, I'm gonna be honest. We go, mm, We had a whole conversation with her about what we wanted to do for work. And we don't remember her. Mm. Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with Good. your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must oh, say, you make flirt rather elegantly. Please stop torturing me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Don't say you completely at her mercy. London? Some people take that as no. a, as a as Sorry, I I don't kink. remember. A kink, In the kink, office kink. of William Pitt. Remember? No? I'm so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to you know to me now. <laughs> Did I see that? Absolutely not. I'm just gonna act like I know what it is. And go on. <laughs> uh, uh, 
we got a freaking timer. I'm heading oh. off. Don't get left behind. I'm coming. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. What's up, if I can Jay? my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Go check out, uh, Jay, well, Luzy G. <laughs> we can't run. Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moraz de Richet. Monsieur de Richet. Delighted to Richet. welcome you among us, sir. You must yeah, be Sarah de Richet, out, son. Out, uh, I must tell you we are doing our yeah. utmost to check find your mother as He's quickly cool. as possible. He plays on GTA. Uh, he was playing Outlast? Two, I think. Last time I watched, I think he was playing last uh, Outlast two. And then like yesterday, I think that he was playing uh, GTA. What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks hmm. have passed since Sir's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But sir, that sounds like sure. a lie. We shouldn't be I can't tell behind that, that mask. And just Take what off found so far, <laughs> it would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why <sighs> she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason and the mom why we're has searching lost her the mind. Again, is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps mm. sir's mother was here. Are there any witnesses? Have you found anything here? And did you find anything then? We discovered a certain amount of damage, sir, on the wooden part of the wharf. What type of damage? Broken barrels, mainly. We'll do whatever is necessary to have them rapidly repaired. But quite frankly, I can't imagine what Sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could Mother have been doing with barrels? Nevertheless, our search she looking for the wharf for hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. What do you mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother. Sarah de Richer. So you gonna keep it? I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find hey, the handkerchief? Mom. On the landing dock, sir. The one you it's arrived my by. Mama. Hey. Let me have the handkerchief. Y'all think he gonna give it to us? I don't think he is. Give me he the handkerchief. He has no loyalty to us. I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Well, I... I've traveled hard for several days in order to get here. Yes, but... Invited by your master. No, of course, but... Because my Ooh. mother went missing right under right. your nose. Sir, please. And I, having only uh, just arrived, you refused I to can't give me her tell. personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. Here you are. I must return now. It is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. Because it's 1792, I'm not going to let that pass. It is indeed <laughs> your handkerchief, mother. <laughs> for a specific reason. I need to know what uh. it is. It's a black history what could you doing out here on this wharf? Alright, let's go catch up. Wait, what the freak? I can't go up the stairs. What the freak? Okay. I'm trying to... Uh, the way I would literally just grab onto one of these and hop on over there. 
in real life. Cause I ain't gonna let no lock gig stop me. Just trying to find my mom. But yeah, my actual mother is in the chest. Royal jelly. Mm, nice. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Must be an incredible view from up there. Maybe Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. Hmm, interesting. What's this? Looks like a bar from an old gate. We're looking for clues. This miserable old bar mother. has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. But analysis to the contrary. I put my money on cannon powder. We gonna leave it. I'm not gonna lie, cause if we go in there, a sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Oh, more royal jelly. Okay. Some rope. Apparently, no one's touched it for a good long time. So we didn't bring anything over here. We just came with our body and that's it. Interesting. Ooh, some collectors. I don't see any more. A lantern. Nothing special. Okay. I thought we was catching up to Emily. Okay, I guess we're gonna go. What we can do. I don't think we're gonna do anything. Oh. Yeah, no. That's what I thought. Alright. I'll never get it open barehanded. Oh, hold on. Wait, no, I can't. I can't. No, I don't, I don't have that skill. Uh, Alright. I guess I picked the lock. That's what I was thinking, but I didn't know if that was gonna be something that I needed. It's like a bar from an old gate. Okay. This miserable old bar has been oh, broken okay. fairly recently. Yeah, the whole thing the old edges old are again. still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without a <laughs> contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. Okay. This We're might just come it. in handy. We're gonna take it because my mother said to take it and try it. Barrel's been barrel. broken for quite some time. So that wasn't our mother doing that. Uh, we gonna try and see if it does anything. Good thinking, Mama J. Clearly, I'm not much for manual labor. See if I can get it open another uh, way. He couldn't even get it open. Force it open. You better do what you gotta do. You trying to look for your mom and you letting a locked gate stop you? Are you are. serious? Like, do what you gotta do, man. I wouldn't be letting no locked gate this stop like me. Pistol case, but it's empty. I don't know if this That's has the same to do with you, but if it does, at least now from the uh, from the look into the future, like in and none of it's telling me anything useful. Mm. Pick up that royal jelly. Mm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Uh huh. What are we here? It's cannon ow. powder. Ow! 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 Oh, I can't. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Apparently, someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble. We saw, we themselves. saw, we had a, a premonition. We saw, and like, we saw, like, our mom shoot Emily. And I think that was the gun, like, the gun from that case that we just saw. 
But this guy, we finna, we finna go, t we finna go find our girl. Wait, hold on. Latin inscription. And Nessis, mi fili quantilia produncia mundus orgatur. Like I was gonna know what that meant. I don't know Latin. Next. <laughs> Hello, kind sir. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? Cause he wanted it. Duh! Anything is possible when you got- never mind. <laughs> never mind, never mind, never mind. That's why I can't see. I just, I just don't like how he how he gaslighted that man into giving him his mother's handkerchief. I doubt that he's really going to show it to Lord Mortimer. I don't think that that's going to happen. <laughs> oh, that's a nice looking statue. Impressive. Ah. Why is she still... I was looking for you. What can I do okay. for you, Your Eminence? I want we to in the Hogwarts cast. You are the son of Sada I'm here, just you? kidding. You see, your I'm mother and kidding. I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't mm -hmm. seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. She ain't Mother here because she missed her disappearance. Duh. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. Ah, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequences on the rest of the story, so don't hesitate to use your skills. Well, thank you, my son. Ah. Keep that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Why would Certainly, uh, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be. We need that now. letter. Right. I shall see her tomorrow then. By yes. the way, your eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, uh, if you only right. knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered oh, great do service you. to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope invaluable. that you follow in her footsteps. If right. She had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's it's surely just an oversight. Most certainly. Right. You said you work together. What do you do exactly? With our mother? Should we tell them that we're part of that secret society? Ooh. Ooh. It's either we tell them that we're part of the secret society or be um be ominous about it. My mother and I belong to the same secret organization, the Golden Order, which I joined a few years ago. Mother trained me, and I assist in her research. In other words, you can trust me. <laughs> My child, you are telling a perfect stranger that you and your mother work for a secret society. It would yes, I am. Discretion is not one of your specialities, my son. You will understand you that right, it Ma. does not encourage me to put my trust in you. Shit. Whatever. All the same, but what, it I, if me I would have said professional secret, is there any other solution? then what? Look, what would he, what if, if it's what of would any help, you can always I don't have any, I don't have the other skills. And I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I uh, hesitate. 
up till now, we have always dealt with her in Should be beaten this letter that you can't give it to her freakish son. Do you think I should give it to you? Only you know that, your eminence. Each person you meet on this island has their own personal mission, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Mm -hmm. If you're asking me if you can trust me, or if I can keep a secret, I would answer yes. Absolutely. I understand. In truth, it all depends on the nature of the contents of your letter. Right. It is a list of names. This okay. list must be of extreme importance. I don't have the manipulation you, skill. It's a list of people that your mother yes. must help. <laughs> Listen to me. If I give you the list, I feel like I feel if if, hey, if somebody God. asks me for something and then all of a sudden they're like, I don't want it. I'm just gonna be like, okay, cool. Bye. And leave alone. You must convince the person you are talking to by giving positive answer. If you give a bad answer, the step will repeat itself until you either you give a right one or you have no blunders left. Ooh. Listen, if I give you a letter, you promise that no one other than your mother will read it. I swear by the almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret. Your mother and I are organizing ah, he just lied a large God. number of French priests who face a massacre organized I got an achievement for persuading him to give us the, the letter. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priests' safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Hmm. Always respect your name. Here. Yeah. The letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her that time is short. Well played. Okay. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Do y'all think he's real? Like it's really just a list of names? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Who should we? Should we did? Lives of the noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. I don't want to take the book. It's not mine. I guess we have to take the book. Because I don't have that skill yet. Okay. I thought my chip was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I As haven't ventured to more than two fire? yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur, His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, yeah, just I just talked to him, your like, just it's two seconds ago. George Washington, President of the United States of America. Delighted at last to make okay. your acquaintance, Mr. President. Hello, Fred. George. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine okay, you George. in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time... We must have an infinite cost. inventory. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect Absolutely. place to build up a Absolutely, George. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? Oh. 
At the risk My mother. of disappointing you, That's all. we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that See, Monsieur Derice's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, nope. or even money matters. Not at all. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh. here. Speak for yourself, sir. Okay, George. <laughs> <laughs> and she's cold well, because she got all her back Do out. Do you know the reason why we're all here that. this time? Not Just in this so life. much out. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Holm, <laughs> a close friend of Lord Mortimer. But uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, no undergarment you come out here to under join your mother. Corset. For what reason exactly? Is that even a corset? I'm assuming that it is. Like you, Mr. President, I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> 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 we made George Washington laugh. Seriously, though. I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards. And we'll take a moment to speak about her. No mother how? Oh! Oh! Good okay, Lord. George! Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest right? distinction of the Order in the United States. <laughs> it puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friends! Holy shit! The That's the man for my vision. An urgent case <laughs> has delayed our host, Ooh. Lord Mortimer. <laughs> he can't be present, and he sends his deepest apologies. Mm, He's asking cakey. He hasn't even turned up. Great start. One par with 1792. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow. You must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. Mm, and of you, sir. course she does, I with all that. Washington will be able to speak about my mother Stay. but on the other hand I'd like to learn more about this home I saw him in my vision um he said stay behind later so is she we not gonna really gonna be able to talk to him about anything with her there so I don't think we gonna be able to talk to him with him there either is all right <laughs> uh my vision is more we important. Gonna do this. let's follow home i'll follow you sir mr washington i hope to speak with you at greater length on another occasion emily please excuse me but i would like to speak to sir home i shall see you later you should have said i want to eat Hungry. stomach Need food. My friend, I hope our dear Giovanni is well. Ah, the troubles in France have fatigued him, but he will recover slowly. Do not fear. Oh, what is this haircut? He apologizes for remaining in Rome. The voyage was too much for him. And right he was too. The mildness of the Mediterranean, eh? I didn't like how... Come, sit down and have something to eat, my friend. You look rather pale. Excuse me, sir. Oh, we could have stayed with Washington and got a, I haven't uh, introduced myself. Sir Gregory Holm, an old friend of Lord Mortimer's. A real pleasure, yeah, sir. Yeah, we see that you're old. You who must be well used to the court of France. How do you find this peaceful little haven? Charming, if 
I hadn't come here for disturbing reasons. I forget reasons. why they powdered Yes, I heard the like news. That. What a story. Indeed. Mm, I wanted to ask like you. It's like cracky. Would you have any information about the disappearance of my mother? Ah, very little, I'm afraid, my young friend. Your mother came at the invitation of Lord Mortimer. Then, one fine day, we couldn't find her anywhere. That's it? As I said, mm. I don't know very much. Lord Mortimer had the entire area searched immediately. We found no clue as to her disappearance. But I am convinced that as soon as Lord Mortimer becomes available, he will explain the situation. Thank you for your Doubt answer, it. Sir Holm. But I beg your pardon. I get the impression I know you. Have we met? Except in my dreams, of course. Not that I remember, young man. Uh, perhaps you are mistaking me for another member of the Chamber of Lords. Well, what with the wig and the powder, it wouldn't be the first time. No, you were definitely the one I saw threatening my mother. I thought... never mind. It'll come back to me. Would you allow me one last question, sir? I don't want to take up all your time. Uh, please, go ahead. Um, what do you want to know? Just wanted it to look smooth. Well, that's not um, it's not working in this context. Uh, what did my mother come here for? What's the link between Emily and my mother? Is there anyone else missing other than my mother? Do you know the reason for my mother's presence here? I haven't the slightest idea. No, she was invited by Lord Mortimer. But you don't know why? Mm, not really. I was given to understand oh, that your mother lot. was looking for something. And do you know how long my mother and Lord Mortimer have known each other? Several years, I believe. They seemed to know each other for quite a while. But it was the first time that Lord Mortimer had invited her to join us here. Good. And finally, would it be possible for me to speak with Lord Mortimer this evening? I'm terribly sorry, no. He really is quite unavailable. But please rest assured that everyone is doing their best to find your mother. All the same, it's not the Chateau de Versailles. It can't be that difficult to find her. Worry not, my son. I am persuaded that we shall find the famous Sarah de Rich. <laughs> no doubt with new adventures to share, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Elizabeth! I should have insisted that you rest <laughs> in your room. Do you want me to call someone? Let me handle this. I'm used to this kind of thing. What do you mean by that? Miss, can, what do you, can mean you by hear that? me? Leave me. Um. Her breathing is becoming stable and... Her heart rate, too. I guess she's fine. Pale they were alone. Thin, broken nails, an enormous scar on her temple, tattoos on her hands. I don't know what happened to you, Missy, but it looks like you've been through hell. Can you tell me something about her? The dizzy spell is harmless, but her general condition is frankly alarming. You seem to know her. What is she suffering from? I don't know exactly, but her father sent her to us in the hope that she would recover all her faculties. It would appear she suffers from episodes of dementia. Is she aggressive? Sometimes, but only toward herself. They knew about She's never dementia? hit out with anyone In else, 1792? I can assure you She wasn't like that this morning. Something must have upset her. That's one way to put it. Hmm. Poor girl's exhausted, but that's not the cause of her problem. <laughs> right? Do you feel any better? When did she arrive? Uh, I'm lost. Ago. Okay. My mother had already gone missing. It's, it's, ah, she's also part of it. She's just regained consciousness and she immediately reaches for her brooch. I don't know exactly uh, what it means to her, but obviously it's got to be she, something important. Yeah. Are you all right, Elizabeth? <laughs> she's quite right. Take it easy, miss. <laughs> I just need to get back to my room. This whole thing course, is just not historically accurate. You saw it, didn't you? Pardon me? 
i segni della bestia. Sorry, your eminence. I don't speak Italian. Ah, forget it. It doesn't matter. What do you mean by that? It's what do you getting... mean it doesn't matter? It is time for everyone to go to bed. It has been a long day. Already we just got here. Hold on. I would like to speak to Emily. It's all the more delicate. I'll see what I can do, but the case I'm on at the moment might well leave me with very few opportunities. From from Emily having having all this skin well, showing I'm impressed with all this to, to dementia. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty <laughs> accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. What you looking at? What you looking at? Oh, it's naughty to tell lies. Bet my life that you were talking about something totally different from the decoration of the manor. But to find out what, I should have stayed with them. Too bad. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. You know, I, won't disguise the fact I figured that I, I could just, you know, skip past but I uh, must say, her, he her outfit. Pieces. But, um... So, Who's mm. that young lady with you? Dementia? Elizabeth nah. Adams, Mr. President. <laughs> Can't get past that. She would that. have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Is that John Adams' wife? Just no. mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Looks like That's he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a I'm few sorry. days ago. No. I John Adams' wife was Abigail. We weren't introduced. Abigail. Rest assured, she is not here for the same who reasons is, as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting why, on Why would that make George Washington upset? Um. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. I literally... Y'all saw me... The servant it was will too fast. The servant your room. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. That's why earlier I kept saying it's the giving harlot. Because why do you have all that skin showing? Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, your Only one lady. Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. Ladies you, ladies. Monsieur de Richet, will find your room ladies. at the end of the corridor. There are so many to the flower ladies. Well, my Look, friends, so many I to am flower ladies. I am off to my Sorry. bed. Hamilton. See you in the morning. Every time Good I hear night, ladies, sir. it just. I shall do likewise. <laughs> Louis, I shall see you in the it morning. It just takes up. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh man, it's been quite a day. Right, where is my room? She literally Duchess didn't even Emily show. Hillsborough. Okay, that's her room. Duke Manuel Godoy. What the freak? They're not me. Where the? Oh, I thought there was a thingy over there. No. The servant was supposed to show me to my room, and didn't. Monseigneur, His Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. This is too big of a freaking place to not. I don't think President George Washington. George Washington, we are outgunned. What? Outmanned. Outnumbered. Outplanned. <laughs> Bro. I could probably. What the freak? Did we just did I just go in a circle? Okay, this might be Johann von Wunder. Nope. What if we don't even have a room? <laughs> uh. A devil's. Oh. 
called it. Be used to uncover the best disguised traits. <laughs> he there for the secret order. The secret society. So Jacques Peru. See, this would have been just easier if he would have just shown me to my room. About. Oh my gosh. And then we're back at the freaking Duchess start. In Hillsboro. Oh. I can't go bother her? Why not? She's cool. Why am I bothering her? I must have missed it. Duke I think I looked at this Dang! I was trying to get to my room. That was a bad oh, servant. How are you going to... Oh, yeah. President George Washington. Um, I don't think we have a room. Maybe that's why he didn't show me to my room, because I didn't have one. Maybe it's, no, it's not downstairs. Oh, okay. Ugh. Monsieur Johann von Wunder. I don't think that we have a room. <laughs> like... How hard would it have been for this servant to show me where my room was? How hard would it have been? I don't, I don't think it would have been that hard. Cause... A few leaves out of no encyclopedia. I gotta find my room. Napoleon. Okay, and then we're back at where we started. Great. She's the only woman here. Interesting. She's dressed like that? What kind of activities was she invited here for? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, not me. I've literally, like, have we not ran around this place like three times? There's nothing else for me to see. Okay. Maybe I should run a little slower. <laughs> Cause maybe I'm missing it. And then here's George Washington. Oh my gosh. It wouldn't have been hard for him to just show me where my room was. I don't think I'm missing any doors. Okay. Like, I'm like 99.99999% sure that this, that's not my room either. See what I mean? I'm gonna be honest. I don't think we have a room. <laughs> Like, I've said it, like, four times. But, uh, we've also ran around these hallways that many times. Do I have a map? <laughs> I've literally been running in circles. So Jacques Is this mine? Ugh. 
People that aren't even here yet have rooms. I don't want to walk around here because it's literally. Goodoy. We don't even know that man. He literally could have just shown me huh. my room. That's me. So you mean to tell me I ran around these hallways a good five, fifty, eleven times, and my room was right here? Right. So what shall I do with this letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. But if I open it, I'll be betraying Piaggi's <laughs> trust. What should I do? I'm not opening the letter. I really don't care. Um... Damn. Can't wait to open it, but I gave my word to Piaggi, so... Too bad. I'll wait until I hand it to Mother. Wow. Nice room. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. And he shouldn't. Ooh, what's that? Oh, coins. Okay. Hmm. Leave that alone. We can go out on the balcony. There's a balcony. Wow. Do we happen to share a balcony? Yes, we do. So how come they get nice chairs? Ooh. Honey. What's the Carmelite mm. water. Nice. I'm gonna take all of this. I like snatching things up. Okay, no, I'm back in the room. An old sesterce from Roman Gaul. We all share a balcony. That's what I'm getting at. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is this my room? Oh, yeah, it is. Guess we're going to bed. Oh, I thought he, I thought he was gonna be naked. I was about to be scared. I was like, don't show me all that. I don't want to see. Level two. Yeah. Um. Uh -huh. Okay. You got it going on. Wait, I don't know what this entails. I'm <laughs> nice eyeball. I don't know what this entails, but we're doing it. Oh, we we a I'm so confused. We got like an invisibility cloak. The servants have been efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. 
Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search Are of the like, room We like taking over bodies? Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Hmm. Oh, what a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. <laughs> the game won't disappear. Well, his name's Gregory. I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please Thanks. forgive me for this late hour. It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. One last move? I cannot talk in a French accent. Don't worry. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come. Take a seat, my friend. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that was... <laughs> I don't know what was going on with that head. A little night time. George sleep. Washington! There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not Every hesitate time. to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. Don't do it, George. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, oh, he was knocking on our door. Why are you knocking on our door? What do we do? George, what's going on? What's going on, George? George Washington. I'm coming. <laughs> Should I make that a sound command, bro? That would be so funny. <laughs> Exclamation point, George. It is George Washington. <laughs> Excuse me. Am I bothering you? Why did he just walk in here that quick? No, not no. The least. Is something wrong? I'm going to need your He's help. He's interrupting my, 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 the my... the young lady we spoke of in the hall? Yes? I bumped into her in the small salon before. Well, she is the daughter of my friend, the vice president, John Adams. But she is supposed to be Wait, dead. what? Yeah, that's See, bizarre. I figured he Fair was enough. somebody Good John heavens. Adams. I was present at her But it's not room. real. It is disturbing indeed. Think. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth. Yeah, while it, I that's not that's not one of his real daughters. But you know, I figured, I figured. Elizabeth, I hope so. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. We helping George. George Washington. <laughs> we. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, we helping George Washington, or we investigating our vision. I don't think that we should be nosy. Like I know that we're trying to find our mother. <laughs> But I also want to help George Washington. Okay, like I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted. <laughs> that's really how he's. That's really how. Uh, that's really how. That's really how. Um, what's his name says it. 
Hamilton. Hamilton. <laughs> I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna get to it. <laughs> George Washington. <laughs> okay. 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 We gon' we Count on we gonna help George. Thank you, my friend. George she Washington. Downstairs as long as we possible. Out good. She must what not out return to her What? Trust me. <laughs> That's in right hand man. Yeah. Okay, we gotta According keep to Washington, Elizabeth down. Lady today. Adams is in the small salon. I better hurry. Louis, you're straying from your objective. Huh? Where are we at? Uh, what do you mean I'm straying from my objective? I don't know where the stairs are. You had me run around this whole thing. I don't even remember where we are. You're straying from the objective, Louie. Like, what? I don't even know where I am. Ah, my son. Oh, you are a godsend. What's the matter, Your Eminence? I believe that Miss Adams may be in danger. What do you mean? Do you hear that? She is being manhandled in this small salon. By whom? I don't know exactly. Uh, a thug, a Frenchman, it seems. By the cut of his cloth, I'd say he's a member of the French Revolutionary government. You should do something, mm, my son. Probably Napoleon. No. Napoleon would be... Shit. Hey, we gonna go in. Sure Guns of lace. Go to Brrr, you know what I Don't mean? Don't worry, Your Eminence. I'll take care of you. <laughs> probably nothing to worry about. Do you want me to call for help? Please don't do anything. I'm sure with a little goodwill, everything will work out fine. Oh, God. Don't go and wake up the whole man. Maybe that was a bad idea. Maybe I should have done that. May God watch over. A stomach. <laughs> this is probably really, really bad. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Give me, sir. If we were in France, I'd have sent you to the guillotine for what you just said. Please, just let me go the back guillotine. to my room. <laughs> hey, you! Stay out of it! This is none of your business. I'm gonna teach this little slut how to behave. What the hell is Excuse going me? On? Huh? In 1792? I don't think you know who I am. Stop. I beg you. No, I, I don't. I didn't mean to. Don't hit me, please, sir. Shit. Uh, if I step in, Adams might just run back uh, to her room. And if I do nothing, yes, Washington will have enough time to search, but this girl's uh, gonna suffer. Damn it. What should I do? You filthy whore! I apologize. Have mercy. Please have mercy. Uh, no, uh, no. <laughs> Oh, now we're immoral. Because we didn't stop. Apologize. No, no, no. Mercy. I have just didn't want to take that risk. Nah, 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 nah. You know. Where's that smart mouth now? I'll teach you a little respect. No. Huh? No. <laughs> Oof, I freaking. My mother pulled me off in enough. Sometimes the end does justify the means. I'd hoped I wouldn't have to Imagine apply that rule, still but doing this at least Washington while we're will standing. Have time. No. 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 Oh. Talking's not going to help anything. Well, did you get time to search the room? Yes, I found out many things. Good. Did Elizabeth give you any trouble? Elizabeth? No. Well, you could have mentioned she was the raving maniac, huh? 
What do you mean? She was with a Frenchman. Yeah. He was about to beat her when I arrived. What the devil are you yeah. talking about? I thought he was going to kill the poor girl. Did you intervene? All I did what said, was necessary uh... to give you enough time to search her room. Good work, my friend. I knew that I could count on you. He said, he so said. So tell me, did you find any he's information? He's the daughter of my friend, oh, John Adams. Yes. What I um, found assuming is because we wouldn't know you. that John what do you mean Adams. By that? Elizabeth was is the indeed vice president. the daughter of John Adams. Being Why pass her off as dead? I found where her we're from. File. I don't know. It appears that for many <laughs> but, yeah, years your the mother vice was daughter. her personal doctor. From what I read, she behaved more like a butcher than a doctor. What are you talking about? I'm not a child. What's going on here? John believed that his daughter was possessed. He appealed to your mother to save her, but the treatment she inflicted on the poor child. My God. Look, stop beating around the bush. What exactly did she do to her? But, um, do you I believe looked it up your in real life. No. This child, child does not exist. Um, as far as we know. My mother would never do something like that. But she did. And with the blessing of the order. No, no, she, she wouldn't go that far. Prove it. Show me that file. I left it in her room so as not to arouse suspicion. My mother is not a monster. Come on now, I George. Do not doubt that your mother meant well. Done a lot of other the questionable things. In the file, it, it is pure torture. Uh, please. I need some time alone. I don't think that George would lie to us considering that time. he knows that we're part but of the order. But if what is written in these damn documents is true, be brave, my boy. And considering the vision that we have when we first got here, mother shooting uh, Emily, we might not really know our mama at all. Sorry, I was drinking some water. Some water. All right. Now I can go back to bed. I'm sorry. I can't get Hamilton lyrics out of my head now. Oh my gosh. That's not the right way. How would I know? <laughs> That's not the right way. Right? But I mean, George said that our mother was torturing I guess experimenting on her. So maybe she forced her to like, you know, shave that side of her head. Your eminence, what are you doing here? I was worried about you, my son. Uh, how did it go with Miss Adams? Could have been worse. Let's say that Miss Adams will remember it for a couple of days. What? Did you not intervene? Of course not. What did you want me to do? That thug could have snapped me in half in two seconds. So, you prefer to let that fragile young lady take a beating rather than risk getting slapped around a bit yourself? Mr. Derice, your mother would not have been proud of you. Listen, next time it happens, join me instead of hiding behind the door. If you're gonna talk big, back it up. You should Get be ashamed. Him. I will pray for your soul, my son. Whatever. My son, I have you another help too. I wanted to speak to you about something. You standing there. If I didn't come downstairs, do you still have you my was just going to be standing there listening behind the door. Why do you ask? I have a name to add to it. Here it is. Thank Good you, thing my we son. didn't open the letter. Ah, I see that it's still sealed. I was right to put my trust in you. Uh, give me one second, yes, sir. please. I can't imagine what would have happened if I hadn't added this name to the list. She please definitely did. be sure to give this letter to Sarah the moment you see her. You can count on When did lobotomy stop? Have a good night. Didn't lobotomies, like... It didn't kill him. I mean, it, I'm sure it killed people, but... 
I don't think, um, I don't think she would be as, uh, huh, that's me. We're literally right next door to him. And I walked past this room like ten times. <sighs> I'm exhausted. I better go to bed. I'll search my room tomorrow. Mother stayed here right before me. You never know. And Mortimer had better show up. Yeah. So I'm sure that was. Uh, I'm sure that was what was happening. But I don't know if the scar side of her head. I think that would, I think they did that. Um, could have found out what all kinds of um, mm. do, 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 do. Uh, okay. Maybe I should go for this one now. Because, you know, I feel like at this point, you know, it might be worth it. They didn't stop doing lobotomies until like nineteen sixties. Nineteen sixty-seven That's a little too close for comfort. Nineteen sixty-seven? How do we All right. In my vision yesterday I saw that mother had this room before me. I better search the room. Who knows? Maybe she left me something behind. We didn't put on our jacket. Yeah. Writing material. That's standard. From what I see, no ink's ever been used on this quill. The smell reminds me of something. It smells like lemon. I wonder if it was hard That's to odd. write with uh, ink and quill. I like, haven't even had time to unpack my cases. Dear Monsieur de Richer, please excuse me, but I am unable to join you at present. However, rest assured that doing all we can to resolve the case that concerns us. By the way. Oh, great. Amazing. Give me the key. The inspiration of St. Matthew, or Matthew writing his gospel, dictated to him by voices. Inventory full Nothing. of royal jelly. The torture of Ixion. Condemned by the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. Devil's thorn. Interesting. But I mean, I guess I guess that's that's how it is. Like the incredulity of Saint Thomas. Why is Caravaggio representing Saint Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on but doesn't touch. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Very jolly. Look, markings on the floor. Eh, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. Oh, this I mean, bookcase like is well book stocked. Book. Oh, this book has been put back the wrong way round. A voyage around the world. The travel log of the explorer, Sorry. Louis Antoine de uh, one of mother's favorite books. It's kind of like coincidence. I don't think calligraphy fans are I don't hard to write. In coincidences. Maybe. It's just too much. 
I don't know what's going on here, but no, it's not. if you felt threatened, I'll bet you'd leave a clue, wouldn't you, Mother? Found it. A faint sign of the order. How Barely awful. visible. Like, I, uh, it just gives me, it makes Mother, me have so many. You undoubtedly questions. must have hidden a clue in this book. Ugh. Let's see if I can find anything else in this room. Examine the page with the symbol. The paper's rougher around the writing. The paper's moist here. Very light stain, barely visible. And the smell reminds me of something. Come on, Louis, think. Think. Let's recap. My mother was in this room. I found a rare edition of her favorite book. She must yeah, have left something in my behind. clumsy self. I would have ripped quite a liquid to the book. <laughs> she must have used the writing materials. The quill has been used, but not with regular ink. A message using invisible ink. I bet you use a limit to leave a message. Now, how do I reveal the message? Come on now. What's that? a nice Saint Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. That's like what my uh what my art teacher would want me to say about There's a circle paintings. around the lock here. <laughs> Must be the trunk Mortimer was talking about. The key should open I remember, it. like I had a I took an art class and it wasn't like it wasn't like a high school Thing. There's a note. <laughs> Effects of Sarah de Richer to be given to her son, Louis. I should probably take it. I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. Mm. Saint Francis of but Assisi. Yeah, my art teacher should want me to like superior voices. Right, whole thing. It always pieces. amuses me to see how art gets used for propaganda purposes. What the freak is this? Is he biting a baby? Saturn devouring his son. Again? I saw the same theme in the hall. I wouldn't like to be his son. Uh okay. <laughs> Amber Christmas. I'm gonna just grab it. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Okay. Lovely lectures Mortimer's giving to his guests. Very jolly. Leave the freaking candlestick. Find something to reveal the hidden message. We have all this ro royal, uh, royal jelly. Am I not pressing it? I know I'm pressing it. Don't hear me pressing it. <laughs> it is not doing anything. It's crazy. Okay. The message is illegible. I have to keep searching. Oh my gosh. He ain't got no. Hmm. Nothing here. I wouldn't mind a nice, strong coffee, though. Oh, that's why we need the ashes. Never mind. 
maybe that makes sense. I think that's what Riddy was trying to say, and I was just like, I don't know what she means by that. <laughs> so I ended up just... Okay. There you go! Make it work. Yeah. Damn, we're making a serious mess here. It's no good. Man, you'll be alright. Might have worked if the writing had left marks in the paper, but no. There's only traces of lemon. Luckily, I've only put ash on part of the message. Boy. Man. You better find something to freaking do. Maybe take the ink. Wait. I don't know if this is a good idea. We gonna see. Hey. We gonna see. Ooh, the candle wax. Over lemon? To try and see the message? Wait, we're just gonna bring all of them over here. Maybe this. Did he just put it in his jacket? What the? Sir, I don't think that was a good idea. Okay. Aha, Lemon. It's working. The heat reveals yeah. the message. That's fine. The candle wax. My mother the wrote. Candle. The heat. The heat from the candle. For all eyes size you up. You must pass by the Gorgon. Gorgon was the name of Medusa in Greek mythology. On the other hand, where all eyes size you up, I don't get it. And judging by the number of paintings in the manor, could be anywhere. Damn. Literally. The message continues, but thanks to me, the rest of the text is unreadable. Great. I hope it wasn't a unique edition or mother's gonna kill me. Now I better hurry and find that damn Medusa. Sir? He did! Is served in the red salon. <laughs> Typical. And just went hungry. on about Please his day. My apologies to all the guests. Uh, Sir Holm requests your presence, sir. Well... Because I'm just gonna have to wait before going and looking for my Medusa. Tell him I'll be there in a minute. Very clearly have a whole attitude. <laughs> bing, bing. Ooh, y'all remember chance, Crazy Frog? I have to take a little tour through the rooms of the other guests. Yeah. I'm not going this way. The stairs are closer on the other side. Oh well. That's the. I don't know why. I For God's sakes, what happened in here? What the freak? She got. Nope, 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 nope. Turn around. Nope. Mm -mm. Um, excuse me, ma'am. Was it that serious? Like, honestly, Carmelite water, June 11th, 1791. My dear Elizabeth, your last okay, Abigail is real. Concern. Your word. June 11th, 1791. My dear Elizabeth. June 11th. Mm. August 24th, 1792. Aww. Abigail was like sending her messages all day. 30 November, 1791. My dear sister, the cancellation of our reunion hit me like a stab to the heart. Mm. Okay. I don't think I should be staying in here. Like, uh. We just in here just taking stuff. We just ransacked our room. Like, what the freak? Ooh, we got a key. We got a key. We got a key. A chest with a no, you're good. Pattern. You're doing amazing. You helping out. 
Oh wait, there's a key. Somewhere. Didn't I just pick up a key? Am I tripping? My dear Elizabeth, I'm writing to inform you of from a John Adams. <laughs> okay. I think there was a key over here. Was there not? It... There was. I remember picking it up. Uh, hold on. Inventory. Yeah. Five circle key. Okay, maybe it's not the key for this. Yes! <laughs> yes! I'm getting out of here. Get, get me out of here. saw me come out of there because if they were that would be kind of weird wait I can't go downstairs oh, dang okay maybe maybe ooh let's go visit Emily let's go see Emily hey girl hey girl I can't, I can't go down the, oh, I can't go down the stairs with these, okay, guess we're not going to go see Emily. Excuse I'm me, sorry. Monsieur de Richet, I really need to talk to you. Is this about last night? No, that was just a misunderstanding. I'm sure it was a little bit my fault, too. There's no excuse for that man's horrible behavior. You ought to tell Sir Holm. Look. The only thing that I care about is that I've lost something precious. I'm not worried about Jack Peru. Hmm. I'm, okay, I'm sorry. I think if she apologized I for not him saying anything. It's done is done. It was my fault, not yours. Don't say that. It's never but it wasn't your fault. fault. Look at your eye. Right, don't say that. Eye's nothing. Last night, mm -hmm. I found out that your mother was on the island. What are you doing here? My mother came here to do business with Lord Mortimer, but she seems to have gone missing, so I'm here to find her. I know your mother very well. Really? Yes. What do you mean by that? I have been in your mother's care ever since I was born. She nursed you. Oh. oh I wouldn't say nursed. No. I remember her stare, cold as ice. Her sadistic hands pressing over my mouth to silence me while I screamed in pain. I remember her okay, nails, girl. too. She held me down with them while she cut and burned scars into me. Hold on a minute. What mm. do you mean? You can ask her when you see her. Huh. She got some nerve agitated. saying this to my face. <laughs> like, to my face, girl? Really? And next you're going to tell me my mother's also responsible for that scar on your head? My heart stopped twice during the operation. I lost my memory for six months. You obviously have no idea of the abuse your mother inflicted on me. Wait, mm. there must be some kind of mistake. My only mistake was ever meeting your mother. She's able to describe every detail without hesitation or getting flustered. It's becoming difficult not to believe the poor girl. Look, I've, I've got to go. Wait, I, I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you through all of that? There must be some <sighs> reason for what she did. What's the point of rubbing salt in the wounds? I'm just asking you a freaking question. <sighs> Elizabeth. Confirm. Fighting in me oh, might no. ease your burden. Hold on! Hold on, Miss Man. Wait. Wait. It won't let me do it! Let me relieve you of some of your suffering. Relieve me? Do you even hear yourself? Do you really think that by confiding in my torturer's son, I will be healed as if by magic? That it will bring Girl, my I'm just trying to help back? you. Or let me sleep at night? Look, <sighs> you don't seem like a bad person. And I'm sorry you have to find out your mother's true colors like this. But I'm not going to pity you. Everybody has their cross to bear. 
I know your little game. You're no different from the rest of them. You couldn't give a damn about me. The only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. Don't say that. Not, not everyone wants to use you. Some people care about you, don't they? Met her you sister. Got a sister. Yes. I'm sure she Abigail. loves you with all her heart. Abigail's She's the, the only, only person that'd be sending her letters. I would have put an end to mm -hmm. it all by now. I saw it. Her. Since you insist, I'll tell you how I met your mother. Thanks for trusting Thank me. Thank you. You see, before I was born, my mother often <laughs> suffered from hallucinations and fits of anger. Soon people could barely recognize see how we did her. That. She became a completely different person. So my father spent an enormous amount of money paying Dang, for the best doctors. But none of them were able to cure like, her. Oh my gosh, the last crazy. resort was to call a priest. So, is that what your father did? No. He went to an expert in the occult. This is a good game. Uh, my right. mother. Her reputation already extended beyond our borders. My mother's fit okay. stopped at my birth. And Sarah de Richet concluded that the evil had passed into me. Not only did it encourage her to stay, but she took the opportunity to advise my father to separate me from the rest of my family. That's how I was declared stillborn. My fate was decided that very day. It would coincide with my mother's frequent trips to America. I had my first fit when I was three. That's when your mother began her experiments to rid me of the evil inside. Mm. I understand how you feel, but I know my mother. I'm sure she had her reasons, even if it seems difficult to believe. Don't say that. Mm -mm. Everything nope. she put me through was all for nothing. My whole life was ruined for nothing. So what brings you here then? My father used to know Sir Holm. He offered to introduce me to the world's leading authority in the occult. Lord Mortimer. He was my last hope. Until I found out he had also invited your mother. It's got to be a coincidence. I don't believe for a second she's come here for you. You can't change my mind about this, Louis. My days are numbered, and I know it. Ooh, she's still wearing that dress. Okay. Showing that back. <laughs> Give me a piece of that back, 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 it's the first okay. time I've seen brushstrokes like this. <laughs> she got her back out! What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night. Um, can you tell me how to do this? That's what I need to know. I'm pressing the button. Ooh. I'm pressing the button. And it ain't working. What can you tell me about the guests? Do excuse me, sir, but I am bound by discretion to say nothing about Lord Mortimer's guests, sir. <sighs> Perhaps, uh, would like to know something else? Nah, I don't really care. I would like to speak about your master, Lord Mortimer. Do please excuse me, sir, but I shall make no comment oh, about my master. You know Is what? There anything Why else are we even talking that, to him? Sir, would like to know. No, I have literally nothing to say. Oh, I thought that was the. Oh. Oh wait, that's. Oh. I was gonna say I thought that was Poseidon, but um, there's no trident. Maybe, hmm, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe just maybe. I'm trying to use it because I just feel like bing, 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 bing. <laughs> go 
does she got her back, back, back in the back out? Like, that's a nice looking back. <laughs> that is a nice friends, bag. I you welcome. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richet, allow me to introduce our new guests. They arrived during the night. Johann of Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King of Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte, Where? Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army. And Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. So, let us begin. What is Mortimer playing at? He tells me to come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? <laughs> Disgusting. Right he was too. Huh. Peru looks totally out of place here. He's counting the ten sets of cutlery around each plate? The man is completely lost. Thank you again for the wine, your enemy. <laughs> he served saying, every he's day. He's completely the lost. State. Like what? I am delighted to hear it. Volner and Piaggi seem to be getting along well. My dear uh, Johan, yeah. how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. And yourself? Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution oh. gives him terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. Oh, I should feel better husband. too, as soon Ugh. as the situation is set. Whatever. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. <laughs> Your offer does you honor. Mm, those are some nice but looking London shoulders, Emily. It's much closer to Paris than Berlin. Beware. The French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, my friend, I am shaking in my clogs. <laughs> Is the wine to your Is giving she really very ooh, much ew, so, ew, Sir ew, ew. Such complexity, <laughs> typically French. Please stop stems, zooming in on his face. <laughs> stop it! Mistaken, this is not Lord Mortimer's favorite wine. It is yours. In his absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight deviation <laughs> from the rule, but I count on your discretion. <laughs> Don't worry. I appreciate the same great varieties as you. This is I breakfast. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest. Minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. Would, would you repeat that? Oh, well, uh, I put some small <laughs> effort into the works. The orphanage really. Stop zooming in on his freaking face. The bedroom, the washroom, <laughs> and the classrooms I can't, I can't, have all I been refurbished. I. I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas gift. Thank you. I made a promise. Now <laughs> it is done. Cute. It's the Shut first the cry. time I've ever seen her so moved. Just mention that orphanage broke right through Emily's hard shell. Emily has a hard shell? How could you tell? Is everything all right? Yes, thank you. I had a moment of absence, but here I am again. <laughs> My lord, I only you should know get an all of your name. Might I have the honor of getting to know you a little better? You are Monsieur Louis Moras de Richet. De Richet. De Richet. A name with a nobiliary particle. Are you descended from a noble line? Yes, I heard the news. <laughs> The presence of a particle does not necessarily mean a person belongs to the nobility, nor does it prevent the observance of the rules of etiquette, Monsieur Von Bonnell. Uh, please, go ahead. Um, what do you want to know? Have you any information on this Napoleon? Don't touch yourself. What do you think, madam? What is this Bonaparte doing here? The presence of a soldier is never a good sign. It can only mean there's going to be further war. To answer your question, I only know that his family were in favor of the revolution. And that it almost Sorry. cost them their lives. Thank you, that's helpful. 
Monsieur I mean, what did he want me to say? It would like... seem we have common interests. Uh -huh. Could we speak in private, please? What? What are you talking to me for? Don't be having George Washington looking at me like that. What is going on? What's wrong with you? Um. Lord Mortimer is he gonna try and push me off this? Who your mother have concluded a financial agreement. Stay composed, Louis. I'm listening. An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. You must know that I am deeply sorry about their disappearance, but I must validate the deal urgently if I want to be able to. We're helping in the French Revolution. Ain't George Washington against partisan fighting? To your like questions. what? He assured me that you could replace your mother. I hope he. Actions. I hope he know that he I better. Uh, his confidence, but he better. Still, this is a bit hasty. But please continue. <clears throat> of course, but I need to know we allies? if I can count you among my allies. <sighs> of course. And for that, I have a little question for you. The agreement stipulates an aid of 50,000 Louis d'or for 200 cannon. What the freak? <laughs> 50 that Absolutely. 50,000 Louis d'or in hard cash. The offer I'm talking about was for only 20,000 Louis d'or, Monsieur de Richet. The truth is, you really have no idea about our agreement. So Darn right, I don't. Wasting my time. I need to work with people I can have confidence in, sir. The exact numbers may have escaped me. I suggest you wait for my mother's return in order to manage such details. I have one last question I would like to pose. <gasps> we don't know each other yet, you and I. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision for the future of France. Given the hard times oh that have gosh. befallen our beautiful country, what do you think it would take to restore its uh, luster? Viva la revolution! Uh. Let the people make their own choices. You are joking, I hope. The people are simply not capable of taking charge, don't you see? They are an uneducated mob who react on the spur of the moment, incapable of providing a coherent vision for the good of the country. <laughs> right. I think there must be a misunderstanding. What do you mean? I cannot believe that Lord Mortimer advised me to speak to you. <laughs> I must have misunderstood. Excuse me, please. Oopsie! <sighs> Bravo, Louis. Total fiasco. I mean, first, I didn't even know what he was talking about. Like, my friends, I don't know this man like from a can of paint. I would like to thank all right, Lord George Mortimer and you, sir, <laughs> for bringing us all together here. Those of us for whom it is not the first time here, like me, are all trembling in sweet anticipation of the arrival of our host. For the rest, I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has a few surprising projects to propose. <laughs> but I can assure you that each and he every one of us about to be extinct, has like what? benefited from them. <laughs> the last time I came to this place, Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. George and it is Washington! It's clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. We are here among like minded people. So let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations find themselves at present. So right. I raise let my it go. glass in honor of you all, my new and old friends. Trust yes, you George. Shall not be Come on, Mr. Washington. Stop us, his face. Right, we shall meet again tomorrow. My controller wasn't All the in guests my hand. Will be present. I was trying to grab well, it as quickly Lord as I could. Really... I hope. Until then, I trust you will find plenty to keep you amused. Those butter. Sad. Oh, I could have. I want to buy a button waiting. 
Go women. Stop writing. You don't play this long enough. Cause child. All right, let's recap. Before dinner, I was going to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. <sighs> Whatever. Um. We gotta look for Medusa. The only person sizing me up here is that monumental Zeus. He can't be here. Right. Medusa. Oh, wait, I can ask him. What can what I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. Yes, what can, can I you find briefly him? describe the ground floor, please? Very well, sir. On the ground floor, there are mainly living rooms. Sir finds himself at present in the grand hall. From the grand hall, Sir can access, on one side, the small salon, where the guests like to relax with a good book. From there, Sir can access the conference room, which is closed at present for preparations. That is where Lord Mortimer likes to gather all of his guests for talks. From the other side of the Grand Hall, Sir may access the dining room. That is where Sir's meals will be served. From the dining room, Sir may benefit from an exceptional view overlooking the island. It is also the best mm -hmm. way to access the portrait gallery, where a large part of Lord Ooh, Mortimer's work is exhibited. And in the gallery, Sir will also find access to the garden. But Sir may be reassured, the building is accessible on both sides, so that it surrounds the garden in question. So. Sir should not find cause to worry. No one has ever gotten lost. Yeah, except for my mother. Has Sir I was about to say the same thing. Uh, okay. Medusa. We looking for Medusa. That's not Medusa. Medusa. We looking for Medusa. 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 We looking for... Medusa. Oh, that's a pig's head. <laughs> Medusa, we looking for Medusa. Okay, this is just food. Mm. Ow. Ooh. Um, uh, okay, then. This is just too many dang on books. Now, what the freak? No. Moving on. Medusa, Medusa, we looking for Medusa. Where all eyes size you up. Chances are, 
That's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should we go and try to find the creature now? All right. Ooh, dang. I'm running into the Medusa. Trying to find Medusa. Medusa, Medusa. Hmm. There's Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Uh, obviously, the Last Supper. Uh, Medusa, Medusa. Where is Medusa? Feeleth his death is near, his brain is oozing by mm. either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. Okay. Medusa, Medusa, we looking for Medusa. Okay. Medusa must not be in here. Who was that? Honey, Reach. I couldn't have hoped for better. Okay. Ooh, Medusa! We found her. I've got to find out what Mother was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword? Hmm. A hero with a lantern? And the last one holding a shield. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. Oh. Tort Medusa. Because I'm assuming that they would want to get rid of Medusa. Right, Medusa, get up, Medusa. Uh, rotating. Oh, wait. Okay. So, wait. Maybe we doing it that way. Take the statue. Um, that way? I don't know. I'm not good at puzzles like this. Rotate it. No. Okay. So if Medusa. Okay. This man holding a shield. Right, right. I would assume that he holding the shield towards the sword or Medusa. But I'm not seeing that. Okay, give me this. Okay, he is facing. Yeah. We got that, we got that, we got that. Um, a lantern, rotate the statue. I don't think, I don't think. The book? The to tell us? Myth reinterpretation of legendary creatures please tell us a story just what I need. please the text is in french on the left hand page and in latin on the oh right my hand gosh let's find the chapter on the medusa read the page Hang in on. french go ahead this version is significantly different from the regular one it recounts how men have always belittled women in society harpies mermaids the chimera the hydra the gorgons 
Ah, the section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the Gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. Okay, sword towards Medusa. Okay. Sword towards Medusa. Right, right, right. Did I already do that? I think I already did that. No. Okay. Rotate it toward Medusa. Is there another section? Or Hang is on. Just... This version is significantly different from the regular one. It recounts how men have always belittled women in society. Harpies, right. mm -hmm. mermaids, the mm -hmm. chimera, the hydra, the gorgon. Okay, so we obviously we know. Ah, the section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the gorgon, the hero with a sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. Wait, is Medusa supposed to be looking at him then? Uh... Yes, they do. They do. Um, this one, the one with the lantern, and the one with the sword all do. Now, when I was in my art class, I did not understand why they thought that you could have a man holding a sword with his weenus out. And I know weenus is not that, but that's what I call it. So. Okay. I don't know. Okay. The man with the sword brandishes his weapon at Medusa. Hmm. But yeah, I when I was in like when when my when my art professor was explaining it to me I was like, nope, still doesn't make sense. Um, is that the right configuration or no? I can't tell. Um, Hang on. Have this version is significantly different from the regular one. It recounts how men have always belittled women in society. My Harpies, brain. Mermaids, I live before I got on stream. Chimera, I don't feel like Hydra, thinking today. The Gorgons. <laughs> and ah, then I found this game. Section on the Medusa. <laughs> Gotta While sink. Some of the heroes divert attention from the Gorgon. The hero with a sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. Okay. While some of the heroes divert attention from the Gorgon, the hero with the sword. Oh, Gorgon is Medusa. Medusa is a Gorgon, right? Yeah, I'm not crazy. Okay, so they wouldn't be facing. this now? Nope. Oh. Oh, I can. I'm just dumb. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, now, Louis, think about it's movie. time to keep a logical mind, as every good scientist should. The aim is to defeat the Medusa. So what can the lantern be for? To light up the Medusa? <laughs> Hardly likely. Oh! The hero holding the oh, lantern will be wait. easy prey, and the shield will be of no use. To light up the sword? No. That makes no sense. So that leaves the shield. Hmm. I wonder if the aim is to play with the light. If I turn the shield right, good the light idea, will be Louis. The ray of light will return good to the idea. and focus her attention on the best protected hero. Pretty smart. Yeah. Do it that way. I swear I did that. I swear I did that without him having to tell me. Because if it's facing the, if it's, if it's facing the, okay, and then I'm assuming the Medusa will be facing, that Medusa will be facing the one with the shield? Yeah. Makes sense. Sake, Emily, you scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business then. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. I've discovered a hidden message from my mother. She explains how to find the secret room. Something must have attracted her here, so I've come to check it out. And you? What brings you here? My, you're curious. Let me guess. Yes, because you were asking Go me questions. Impress me. You're looking for somebody. Your silence speaks volumes. I must have got it right. And you will go to Ooh. great lengths to find them. So, this person means a lot to you. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. At your service, madam. A golden fleece. It's freezing. Hurry up. You're freezing? Do you think that can really be Jason's golden fleece? No. You are aware that Jason... You think she looks like... Mom! Mom! But Mortimer has been protecting that this hide. That is very much a woman. Value, Certainly of historical you don't value. See? This kind you of hide is still used by gold in Eastern Europe. <laughs> now you see how easy it is to obtain a legend. Why do you have to act so nonchalant every out. time I show you something? Louis, anyone can kill a sheep, rip off its hide, and say it's the golden fleece. She just, she We're just got Lord her hair Mortimer's, up in there. Not in at that, some uh, farmyard fair. That pump just too skeptical. Is that a pump And you have a tendency to believe anything. But it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very tall, tall Yet, You know opposites attract, don't you? Hairstyle, whatever. But it looks like a rose. Roll it up. An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. <laughs> the library at Buckingham has three. Oh. I bet you've read them cover to cover. Naturally. Really? I'm curious. Tell me, what part stood out the most to you? <laughs> the passage where Mary says to Joseph, Hey, you, I've been up. looking at him In all words, the whole you time. Opened. She just got him out for everybody to see. <laughs> it's 1792. I'm looking. Cause why do you have it out like that? It's 1792. Mortimer's Don't the make no of this sense. Work. It talks about his passion for art. The thinker. Is that what that one's called? I think that's what that one's called. Wait, hold on. Bro, I'm about to come over on her side and be like, hey girl, how you doing? 
You should see the sword in me. It's magnificent. I'm busy. Describe it to me. Is it, King? This weapon is typically French, quite old, undoubtedly goes back to the Crusades. Maybe it is. If it is a true it Damask sword, it's worth more than a kingdom. It King? really does look like Joan of Arc's sword. The famous Maid of Orléans. One of your favorite historical heroines. You bet. Given the number of English butts she kicked. And we all know where that got her. When you finished playing, maybe you can help me search the place? I did look. Ain't nothing to look at. I'm looking at papers. How long does it take to read the papers? Oh, looks like a pamphlet on different political regimes. Written by Mortimer himself. Here's something interesting. How you doing? A manor in Maine. Hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia. Properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old. And all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature? <laughs> Do you think all these properties... Do you see how him? low that back is? It's basically down to her booty See butt those cheeks. fine scratches around the words? Yes, and? The ink barely spreads on the paper. It spreads exactly the same way on the signature. The deed was written using the same ink. If it is a fake, then it's a professional job. Several people have played the part of Mortimer. A part that has been passed down from generation to generation. <laughs> Different men, but it's basically one soul at her identity. Butt crack. An intriguing hypothesis, and yet less twisted than some of my previous cases. At last, I'm not gonna go you finally her agree with look. me about something. These that's documents are intriguing, much. but do but you really real. think that's what attracted your mother's it's attention low, here? A, that's a very, very, I don't know. very she low She was back. obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds I'm are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Because Once again, I don't know. For we'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? How did Lord Mortimer get all this? It's just crazy. Secret connections, money, or well-kept family oh, wait. treasure passed on from generation to generation. It took me a minute to, to register that it, that that would mean it some showed of us from afar. ancestors lived before Jesus was born. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to you search try. the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. No. See? That is a low back. Daring for 1792. <laughs> Ooh. A fragment of amber. What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. We just met, Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, you Emily. You like me. It seems what pretty obvious to me that you haven't <laughs> come here for the sole purpose of Sam Mortimer's <laughs> cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell should I place my trust in you, Louis? Because I'm my nice. Ooh, clean up your backyard first. What you mean? Mortimer's letter, my mother's message in the book, the golden order. What more do you need as proof of my goodwill? I freely admit that my wary <laughs> side does get the better of me sometimes. All of it. Wary? Yeah, <laughs> like a wild animal. Don't exaggerate. But that's what I like about you. I'll admit you are fairly reliable. Oh, are That's they flirting? It? I was expecting more. Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese, but I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help. Just like everyone, you have your strengths <laughs> and your weaknesses, and there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? 
Yes, I have. You think your scathing wit protects you, but in fact, it makes you blind. No sooner have people introduced themselves and you already see them in a bad light. You play the part of a strong woman, and yes, you are a strong woman, of course. But what I see is a sensitive young lady who lacks self-confidence. Stop putting a defensive posture and you'll see how quickly new doors will open. There is some truth to what you say. I might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? But you can collaborate with me. <laughs> yes. You're the kind of girl who gets by on her own and who shares nothing. The fact is, you are completely mistaken about me. I already have a work partner. I know mm. my weaknesses. I don't I was doubt about that to say your that. abilities will be of use to me. But I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you come this right? far. It's know just that eventually too much I'll end up like... making you talk. Yeah. Well, <laughs> since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler, so... Your partner is... Chances are, you're working with a member of the Order. The only members of the Order other than ourselves are your mother and Mr. Washington. The former has sadly gone missing. As for the latter, I knew nothing of his arrival. A whole smoky eye. You must have noticed how inefficiently our Order oh, man. is internationally. Okay. Your sister. She's your partner. She's the one you're looking for. Well, I am impressed. How the devil did you guess I had a sister? Virtually no one even knows. When it comes to getting results, you are very good. I grant you that. Because I'm you a detective. To know why the sight of the hey. affected me so strongly. I thought it belonged to Emma, my twin sister. Oh. Oh, you got a twin. Now I get why you said you had a memory for two. Yes. You can't imagine to what extent, though. As children, everyone got us mixed up. So one day, we decided to play along. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister, Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Clever. Oh, so I could be talking to your twin but right now. isn't it complicated? How do you make it work? One of us has no existence had, in my... the outside world. We share everything. In First the for 1700s, one, then for the they other. had smoky eyes. We dress eyes. the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. They, they... We've learned to act Look at them one. freckles. When we accept a mission, we both turn she up. Got little freckles. This time, though, she went ahead, and I was meant to wait for her on the mainland. She was meant to meet Sir home and bring back the details so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem? She was supposed to return for Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, no trace of my sister. Huh? Instead, a sailor passed me a message from home, Rude. notifying me of her sudden disappearance. So, my mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. That's strange. Maybe their disappearances are linked. It's clearly a possibility, but up to now I haven't found a trace really, of Really, that is a them. good observation. None of this is very reassuring. Maybe that's who he By saw and he Lily, thought it was now uh, that you are in on the he secret, thought it was you're Emily. obliged to keep it to yourself. Or you will pay very dearly. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. It's time to leave. Okay, girl. See how she sashayed her way out? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my gosh, wait, Mom, you're right. Egyptians had, like, so, uh, eyeliner. What do you think of our first adventure? I don't remember what they I used. I must admit, they it had has been it. fun by your side. Same here. Would have never guessed she had a, a twin. Oh, 
Now, girl, what you doing outside together. in your nightdress? Louis, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please, don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. Ooh, girl, don't, don't throw me with a good time. Hey! I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi. Look at it! Look at her walk! We need to talk now, otherwise it'll be too late. It looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. Which are we gonna help? Em uh, are we gonna help her? Or are we gonna go uh, follow our girl? <laughs> gonna help her are we gonna go with our girl oh fine we didn't help her the last time <laughs> sorry Emily but I can't leave Elizabeth like this all right Elizabeth if I play I this again thank you definitely Come gonna on, go to Emily we watched her get beat up you didn't see <laughs> <laughs> right now. Does Lord Mortimer know the mess you've made of your room? Listen to me, damn it! My days are numbered. Elizabeth, I don't know if it's about my mother again, but I'm telling you, you've she nothing just, to be she afraid just of. Ran out her room she didn't her come here for you. Girl, I saw her. Saw who? You saw my mother? When? Just last night. I went out to walk along the cliff top, and I saw her in the distance. She tried to hide oh. right away, but I'm sure it was her. Are you saying you recognize my mother in the middle of the night? While she was hiding? Yes, Louis. I know she it got was him her. Scars. You just said I know. she was far away, right? And apparently it's because of our night. mother. And the exterior of the island isn't exactly well lit. Listen, I'm that telling you, it was her. She been drinking. You been drinking, girl. You drunk. She doesn't hesitate on her <laughs> answers. She's not trembling. She's really convinced of what she's seen. Did you talk to each other? No, she was far away. I, I didn't make any noise, and then she was gone. Have you told anyone you've seen her? Sir Holm? Mortimer? You don't understand. It's her. She's here. Yes, I understand. No, you're not listening. The moment I saw her, I was overcome by spasms. She's here. I'm telling you, it was her. Yes. Okay, girl. I need something to calm me down. Um, I'm not taking no drink from her. Better leave that. Nope. No thanks. I, I'd better not. Listen, if you I'm... want me to tell you everything, you have to drink with me, Louie. What I have to oh, say to you girl, is Girl, first of all, I will leave the room and you will be on your own. You're not going to force me to drink. No. I'm about I to refuse drink. again. All right, Louie. Then get the hell out of here. You're incapable of opening your eyes, so be it. Get out! Right, bye, girl. You the one begging for my help. The freak. Because I won't drink with you. I'm in the wrong. I gotta be yelled at? Girl. I don't feel safe drinking around you. <laughs> you don't like my mama. For all I know, you might stab me. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? What? To get her to talk to us, we had to drink. No. <laughs> that wasn't happening. Why the hell did I go with Elizabeth? <laughs> I could have spent the night oh, with no, you, but she no. I had to go that clean out. the night with a big know. heart. Oh, well, never mind. Tomorrow's another you day. I could have spent the night with Emily. <laughs> we could have. Because, girl, who are you talking to? Like, you have to drink with me if you mm. want me to talk. <sighs> no, I don't. I, I, what the freak? Yep, time to get up. Monsieur de Richet, I am arresting you for the murder of Elizabeth Adams. What the, what the hell is going on? What the you yeah. are in deep trouble, my young friend. Oh. Yeah. I knew we should hang out with him. We 
getting arrested for a murder we didn't do. For a murder we didn't commit. the way that was the end of episode one we got arrested we should do y'all think if we would have hung out with emily do y'all think if we would have hung out with emily that we would have been that we would have been uh that we wouldn't have been arrested like <laughs> I just feel like no cuz mom they don't know where they they don't know where she is <laughs> I'm so upset okay we go that again because I ain't like I ain't like how that ended just go no we just go do that again we go we go see we go see if hanging out with emily makes a difference because i just feel like she tried to she tried to like worse me into talking to her like <laughs> i'm not about to see i'm not about to see here Right. Unless somebody Let's tell recap. me, I'm not going to talk dinner, to you. I was going to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. All right. I remember now. I remember. I remember how to get there now. I remember what I'm doing. We just going. We just going. Hurry up. Do it. And then we going to dip up out. We going to dip up out of here. Cause ain't no way. I was going to play Fortnite after. But the way. Okay, get out of the way. I don't care about none of this. We gonna talk to her all over again. Right. That's a good. That's a good. Freaking. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. I wonder. I wonder if it's gonna make a difference. I hope so. I hope so. If not, I'll be upset. Cause I wasn't even. I wasn't even in the room. Now all eyes size you up. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke right. of a Medusa. She Let's gonna do try this to find again. a creature now. I've got to find out Madula what Madula was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword? Hmm. Okay, so the dude with the a sword was the facing Medusa. And the last one holding and... a shield. Okay. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devil. I remember to face exactly what to do. Let's mm -hmm. give them a helping hand. All right. 
Stop looking like that. Rotate it. Toward Medusa. Thank you. Oops, sorry. Okay. And then him. Toward the dude holding the shield. Yup. 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 Okay. And then him. Toward... Yeah. Okay. And then Medusa facing the dude holding the sheep. Yeah. Did that. I know what I'm doing. I'm a smart. But yeah, I was gonna play Fortnite after. But Whoa. this took up the whole stream. A Saturday thing until we finish the game. Bruh, the second. For Pete's Ooh, sake, Emily, you scared the uh, pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business then. I don't know what you're hey! talking about. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. I've discovered a hidden message from my mother. She explains how to find the secret. And this room. time I know every answer to Something must have attracted her, her here, <laughs> so I've come to check it out. And you? What brings you here? My, you're curious. Let me guess. Go on, then. impress me. You're looking for somebody. Your silence speaks volumes. I must have got it right, and you will go to Indeed. great lengths to find them. So, this person means a lot to you. Well, no matter. Oops, sorry. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself. You're gonna take me like. Look around on your side. I'm Not probably gonna be like eleven. And if you find anything, hopefully you don't take that long. Let me know. Oh yeah, in your dreams. At your service, madam. And I know what she wants me to look for, cause it's that thingy thing. Oh, what's this? I didn't look at this the last time. Oh, move. Guess what I found. The Holy Grail. Older than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. This could go on for hours. <laughs> Just tell me. Caesar's laurel wreath. I'm not gonna put it on. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> okay. Here's something interesting. A manor in Maine. Hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia. Properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old and all signed by the hand of the I'm braid my hair. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. Mm -hmm. How come mm -hmm. all these documents have yeah. Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? See those fine scratches around the words? Yes, and? The ink barely spreads on the paper, it spreads exactly the same way on the signature. The deed was written using the same ink. If it is a fake, then it's a professional job. Several people have played the part of Mortimer, a part that has been passed down from generation to generation. Different men, but with one sole identity. An intriguing hypothesis, and yet less twisted than some of my previous cases. At last. You finally agree with me about something. I still something. like her back. These documents are intriguing, but do you really very think nice that's back. what attracted your mother's attention here? I can't see my back. I don't know. So I don't know what my she back looks was like. Obsessed but I with doubt Mortimer. it looks like. <laughs> I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. <laughs> if that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's I'm your? Sorry, if y'all heard me moving by my uh, my headphones. How did Lord Mortimer get all this? It's just crazy. Secret connections, money, or a well-kept family treasure passed on from generation to generation. Who I just want to see that if, would mean some of Mortimer's uh, ancestors lived before Jesus was born. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she Where wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. I know what to find. 
<laughs> a cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. <laughs> is honor like we he said for crying out loud, I'm idiot? <laughs> <laughs> like what? Up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It but you can't. It's obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole book, purpose of saving the world from the seller. And why the hell should I place my trust in you, Louis? Mortimer's letter, my mother's message in the book, the Golden Order. What more do you need as proof of my goodwill? I freely admit that my wary side does get the better of me sometimes. Wary? Yeah, like a wild animal. Don't exaggerate. But that's what I like about you. I'll admit you are fairly reliable. <laughs> that's it. I was expecting more. Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. Definitely. Gain, Definitely is. Um, Nothing to he gain? wants a piece Damn of it, Emily. Emily. <laughs> I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help. Just like everyone. You have your I strengths earlier, and your weaknesses. But she's the and only there's woman no here use pretending other otherwise. Well, other than... Ha. And I bet you found out when I'm weak, haven't you? Elizabeth. And our mother. And our mother is missing. And apparently... Um, you think your scathing wit protects you, but in fact, it makes you blind. No sooner have people uh, introduced themselves and you already see them in a bad light. Elizabeth is going to end up a strong dying, woman. So, and yes, I don't know. <laughs> you are a strong woman, of course. But what I see is a sensitive young lady who lacks self-confidence. Stop adopting a defense. She only wears dress like this. Doors will open. <laughs> there is some truth to what you say. I yeah, thought she was acting like a harlot but I don't earlier. Need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply like, where not your undergarments, collaborating miss? with anyone at this time. Do you understand? That's how my shoulders look. Yes, it's perfectly clear. You're already working with someone. Ah, well spotted, Louis. I already have a work partner. I know my weaknesses. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me. But I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. Consider yourself. But you lucky haven't said enough. You this much. <laughs> it's extremely rare, believe me. Keep Come talking on. to me, girl. Don't stop now I love it when you talk to me, girl. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. <laughs> well, since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler, so your partner is your sister. She's your partner. She's the one you're looking for. Well, I am right. impressed. And I'm a How smart. How did you guess I had a sister? Virtually no one even knows. When it comes to getting results, you are very good. I grant you that. You deserve to know why the sight of the camera mm -hmm. pendant affected me so strongly. I thought it belonged to Emma, my twin sister. Oh. Now I get why you said you had a memory for two. Yes. All right, you time to get out of here so we can go and uh, as children, everyone and, uh, got us mixed up. and so hang out with Emily instead and see what happens. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma, Emily Hillsborough, the woman with two Ooh, faces. Ooh. Okay. So I made Clever. some. Sorry. But isn't it complicated? Yeah. How do you make it work? One of us has no existence in the outside world. We share everything. First for one. Then for the other, we dress the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. We've learned to act as one. When we accept a mission, mm. we both turn up. This time, though, she went ahead, and I was meant to wait for her on the mainland. She was meant to meet Sir home and bring back the details so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem? She was supposed to return from Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, no trace of my sister. Instead, a sailor passed me a message from home, notifying me of her sudden disappearance. So, my mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. Okay, so That's I made some strange. cinnamon sugar cookies. Maybe their disappearances like, are linked. They were really good. But, but now, now I, know, I think I'm gonna make some peanut butter cookies. Either of them. Mm. None of this is very reassuring. By the way, Louis, now that you are in on the secret, you I don't know when I'm gonna make it though. To yourself. Or you will pay very dearly. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. 
It's time to leave. All right. Take it back to my room. <laughs> it's time to take it back to my room. Back to my room. Back to my room. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm yawning, 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 yawning. So, I'm about to go to bed. what do you think of our first adventure? Well, I'm gonna drink some water. Has been fun by and then I'm gonna go to bed. Same here. And then I'm gonna go to bed. Ooh. You know what I might do? Never mind, I don't even know. Oh, she's been drinking too much again. Louis, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Uh. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please, don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. Yeah, we won't be late, sweetheart. Don't mind me. Just gonna tell I'm this sure woman to leave me alone. Louis, <laughs> we need to talk now. Otherwise, it'll be too late. It looks like a needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? We're gonna go join Emily Excuse and me, Elizabeth, see if that makes a some freaking very difference. Has cropped up. We can speak tomorrow. No, Louis, don't leave me alone. They've come back. Good night, madam. Bye, girl. <laughs> We're just going to go well, see Louis, Emily. You took your sweet time. What did our poor Elizabeth oh. want? Hold on, girl. What you doing? Ah! The truth is, I really don't yeah. have the slightest idea, but I thought all of that could wait until tomorrow. She took off her dress! Yeah, very... Emily, have I misunderstood something here? What are you doing in my room? And for a while now, the question has been nagging at me. And that explains yeah! why I now find you here in my bed. Go ahead, ask me the question that's been burning at your lips. You want to give me a kiss? Someone. <laughs> Can't figure out who. Oh, so that's what's been hiding behind all this. We are both members of the Order, Louis. Let's try to be honest with each other. I have followed with great interest your affair in Paris, in connection with Mr. Von Borchert. I will you do one where I drink. Something I will. Him, if I'm then not I'll mistaken. figure it out. <laughs> Emily, you suddenly seem to be very interested in my private affairs. You aren't pumping me for information, are you? Not in the least, Louis. I'm deeply hurt that you'd even think such a thing of me. Oh no! I'm sorry. I picked the wrong I just one. That... Well, you thought wrong. I was interested in you. That's all. But that seems to be beyond you. Don't take it like that. My mother and I recovered an old occult book that Vaunt Burchard was planning to resell on the black market. There. Now you know it all. This is quite fascinating. But just what did Sarah expect to accomplish here? If only I knew myself. My mother always takes a sly pleasure in telling me as little as possible. Oh, poor little Louis. Your mother hides things from you. Girl, don't be That's doing that. Nice. What you about being no, a fool? It's not what nice at all. Doing? And you? What were you supposed to do once the book was found? Give it to our sponsor, I knew what she meant when she started whispering so in our ear. Girl, you ain't slick. So you mean home is playing both sides? Right. Enough chatting. Come and join me instead. Fine by me. I just want to see. Got the whole. The whole. I told you. She Wearing nothing under that skirt. Okay, what are they gonna do in the morning? I have to go, Louis. What are they gonna do in the morning? I don't want anyone finding me here in the morning. Oh. Um. You're right. Well, have a good night. Good night. See you tomorrow, rested and ready. Sure thing. Bye, girl. I still want to see if they gonna. I'm... They probably arrest me anyway. But then if I say that Emily was in my room, they're going to be like, doing what? 
<laughs> uh... Ooh. He didn't have to kick the door down. Lord Mortimer, Monsieur de Richet, at last we meet. We didn't get We didn't get we didn't get arrested! <laughs> See that's what I'm talking about. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Actually, no, hold on. Yes, definitely. I forgot about that. But we didn't get arrested, so it's great. That's great. I will probably yeah yeah you didn't get arrested so it's good it's fine <laughs> yes got all that together A good game. I might have to keep playing this. What the frick? <laughs> I gotta see. I gotta see. I gotta see. Game is fifteen dollars. Oh my! Oh my! I don't mind. I don't mind. Let's get please. Let's go. But yeah, it does. Feel like the mom might end up um, shooting Emily's sister, twin sister, maybe. But yeah. That's what I'm saying. Because, as far as I know, nobody was in the hallway. Unless, um, unless. Maybe it was. Maybe it was because, um. Emily saw me with Elizabeth last. Maybe they asked Emily. I don't know. But, um. I mean, that's on the end of because I don't know, I don't know. Oh, I got a headache. No way. I don't like headaches. Headaches are no fun. Maybe. 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 Hmm. Very, very intriguing question. Uh, I'd hate to be on a cliffhanger, but I appreciate y'all coming. It is it thick, it's like ten D's. <laughs> Extra thick. Um, but yeah, I'd like to leave it on a cliffhanger. I appreciate y'all coming through, staying. And enjoy this game with me. Um, I will try to play this again next Saturday. And we'll do like one episode every Saturday. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see.
we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, good night, y'all. Y'all have a good freaking night. Um, let me see. Who is on right now? I'm ready to go right now. Ow.